So welcome viewers. Today we will play Divinity Dragon Commander and our dragon will be the Zephyr Dragon. Our color will be blue, we play on hard and I never tried it on hard like always because I like to suffer in let's plays. Um, actually never played further than the first few missions so Let's get surprised. We have to start off with some healing beam, some beam to increase the damage of our troops, some uh, teammates dragon casting shields, whatever, and shamans as a special unit. So let's go. Thousands of years ago, Sigurd I built incredible engines of war, and with them forged an empire. The Emperor married and sired many children. He even had a love child with mysterious Aurora, an ancient dragon in a woman's guise. Once united, peace was declared in Rivalon, and bloodshed soon forgotten. But Sigurd's realm of peace was shattered when his own sons and daughters rose against him. War returned with a vengeance, and annihilation reached new heights. Desperate to safeguard Sigurd's legacy, the wizard Maxos sought the help of the one child that never betrayed his father. Sigurd and Aurora's son, the half-dragon prince. He would be the one to save the Empire from ruin, and to aid him in his quest, Maxos delivered unto him the Imperial command ship known as the Raven. <laughs> okay. This is the story of Maxos and the Dragon. This is the story of the Dragon Commander. All clear, guys? No, that's our ship. Whoop. Sigurd, Emperor of Rivalon murdered. Sons and daughters go to war. Solings few for the throne. No quarter given. Okay. Decades of peace and some bloody battlegrounds. Undead proclaim war is punishment from the gods. Okay. War waged with terrible contributions. Elf and lizard horrified. Imps delighted. Gold price skyrocket. War not all that bad, say dwarfs. Okay. So that are the races in this game. Dwarves, elf, lizards, imps, undead and humans of course, which are not shown. And they have 50% with me at the start. So, we will on time's wartime edition. Let's see. Welcome, noble dragon, to the raven. This wonder of engineering. This miracle wrought in magic that has a living demon for a heart. Between the knowledge I shall pry from this infernal creature's cryptic mind and the avalanche of tomes, manuscripts and blueprints aboard awaiting study, we will catch up with our enemies in no time and claim back the lands they have taken by force. Okay, sure. Sounds our awesome. Our task is monumental, but we will not have to face it alone. Two famed generals are here already, loyal to the legacy we are trying to save and therefore loyal to you. Time. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, I love what you do with your beard. I have furthermore enlisted the service of Grumio, an imp of devilish cunning that can fashion oh. anything my research will uproot. Already he has created you a wonder he calls a jet pack. Jet pack. So let me get that straight. This is our flying ship that this wizard organized. And he hired an imp that constructed a jet pack for my dragon commander. A human that can transform into a dragon. And we got some generals. Sounds awesome. Talk to these men. Get your bearings and begin your conquest. If you have any more questions, you can find me in the royal chamber. I, I want to talk to that person. A study. Mm, okay, royal chamber. Should that not be my chamber, you know? Because I'm, you know, there. Dragon Good Prince. Luck, dragon. May the divines be with you. 
Okay, seems not. Okay, you take my chamber, got it. Left click on character to talk, okay. Uh. Nope, nope, okay. Okay, so I can... I suppose I'm... They want me to talk Let to this guy. Your right of the bat that I hold you in very little regard. Okay. Your father may have been a great king once, but this last decade, a crown pig would have played the part better. Okay. Got it. He became a vainglorious fool, a sloth, and a coward. No wonder then that his own children could amass armies unperceived and strike at the heart of a kingdom in a matter of days. Yeah, shut the fuck he up, man. To run. But he failed, and they slew him where he stood. Now the realm has been shattered, and vultures are picking what they can from his corpse by means of new and terrifying war machines. Sounds like a good I'd scenario. Is lost, but Maxos insists you are to be the one, the hero, who will take back the land we've lost. Excuse me if I laugh in derision. Still, you are a dragon, I'll give you that, and of ancient blood. Prove to me you have the rocks to do undaunted battle, and perhaps <laughs> my respect may still be yours. Okay. Uh, I get it. Um, that sounds reasonable. Tell me about the Edmund, other one. he's called. A lizard of the house of Carcharus. In truth, I'd rather sleep with Syphilis Incarnate than have him aboard. <laughs> He's as arrogant as he is astute, and as ingenious as he is insufferable. Okay. Why don't you offer him a word of welcome? I know I won't. At least he doesn't sound like an asshole like you. Well, maybe he does, but you know what I'm talking about. So where is he? I believe he's in the bar. Probably searching for sherry. Just about the only drink that snooty serpent will swill. Wow. Okay, as a German, I don't approve the cherry part, but I approve the bar part. And I'm. My name is and not Bester. as well, but none of them king, as yet. I'll address you with the right regard the day you prove worthy of it. Okay, asshole. Henry of the House of Lancefort. More you need know. Okay, I will just continue to call you asshole if you continue to call me bastard. So he's in the bar. Let's go to the bar. That looks like the bar, huh? Oh, I oh, I like that. My ship is designed very well. I'm very happy with my ship. Maybe not the crew so much. Well, the crew seems okay. Just uh, important persons are assholes. There we have it, I suppose. The dragon son of a monarch deposed. Rightful heir to the throne, even if he was born out of wedlock. Okay, wait. So, <coughs> you are a lizard man in a suit with a monocle. And you're drinking cherry and insulting me. Okay, get it. No doubt that boar of a Henry has already introduced me in his ever elegant way. So here I am. Lord Edmund Augustus III, Duke of Hawknest Hall. I'd add at your service, but I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, man made chicken, you're really recruiting useful stuff. To be perfectly yeah. honest, I'd normally entertain the idea of lending my expertise to your cause as curtly as I'd consider attending a dwarven opera. But not unlike my fellow general, it is Maxos's backing of this enterprise that has me intrigued. You have doubts benefit, Dragon. Let's see how far it takes you. Okay, so There are dwarven operas, okay. What is your take on Only the war? it was bound to happen. For when an emperor weakens, his empire weakens with him. Now a litter of dogs is fighting for the throne. So maybe their dragon half yeah. brother can walk away with it. Makes sense. Uh. When one dwells among the highest echelons of power, where ambition runs thicker than blood, distrust is your best friend as is its brother, Caution. In your case, though, the waters of misgiving run somewhat deeper. You are, after all, but a half-dragon. <laughs> okay, thanks, asshole. Uh, uh, nice race, racist joke. But I like you better than the other one they because you're blue. They call your kind blue. dragon knights to lend an air of nobility to a lowly mixed breed. 
Not many make the distinction, even. But the crucial difference is in purity. Human ancestry taints your being. For humanity and weakness are two sides of the same tuppence I drop in beggars' hats. Wow. <laughs> okay, so they give the characters in this game really character because he's dishing it out, man. <laughs> a bastard twice are you, my lord. Wow. A bastard born and bastard bred. <laughs> Wow, guys, uh, anybody here is calling me as something else than Bastard, please. Uh, so, where is this, this mage asshole? We should have a talk about the guys you hire. And that's my chamber you stole, huh? With my drinks. Okay. Looks awesome. And. Never hesitate to seek my counsel, Dragon Knight. Tirelessly I study and question. In the knowledge that my discoveries will make you the mightiest dragon ever to have soared the sky. Mm -hmm. We too shall unite dragons daring with wizard's wisdom. Nothing shall stand in your way. Okay, sound, that sounds good and more friendly than that. Yeah, that's that's important. Words, victory and destruction. Bah, that's my First, goal too. We must vanquish all warring rivals for the throne. Then we must undo the technology that enabled them to go to war in the first place. We will rekindle the empire of peace your father founded and be rid of the apparatus that might threaten it once more. Okay, so only me as a dragon is left. No war machines. That seems reasonable for me. Tell me about such That is quite a tale, my friend. So bear with me. Oh god, I did the wrong click. Since the dawn of time, beautiful Rivalon has been a stage of bitter rivalry, strife, and war. Like the two humans, and all too lofty lizards, dogged dwarves, erratic elves, irrational imps, dogmatic, undead, and yes, wayward wizards even. Couldn't <laughs> the time it takes for the moon to wax and wane without turning to fresh violence. <laughs> Sounds Peace. awesome. The word itself hardly had a meaning. It was an abstract. Until after long and dark ages, three men decided they had had enough. I was one of them. The other two were your father Sigurd, and an eccentric inventor known only, even by us, as the Architect. Okay. Awesome group. We knew war would continue everlasting, unless one king would stand up, conquer all feuding factions, and unite the manifold battling races under the banner of a single world-spanning empire. Easier said than done was, I believe, our initial reaction. It was the architect who provided us with the answer to the question how on earth we would go about enacting such an unparalleled enterprise. He said he had ways and means to provide your father, a battle-hardened warlord in his own right, with engines of war, okay. such as the world never saw. Technology. That was the solution. For if we could go to war with weapons so vastly superior as to be unstoppable, every opponent would have to yield before our onslaught. And now say all of the weapons? obtained his strange knowledge from, he never wished to reveal. <laughs> but in truth, Sigurd and I cared little for his mysterious ways. For whatever the source, our plans worked like a charm, and in a matter of years, Rivalon was ours. Okay. Yes, we had done it. We had created our empire, and your father became its first and so far only ruler. For a few precious decades, peace <laughs> had finally taken on a meaning. It was a bright flash, all too quickly extinguished along the tenebrous continuum of time. Yeah, I shall take my leave, man. I'm sorry, but... Let's talk to that imp engineer with the jetpack. Hey you, jetpack man. Sire sprung from kings. I am Grumio, son of Grumio, an imp of good <laughs> and honest standing. Your technician, shall I be, if it pleases you? Yeah, man. Engineer and architect. You're awesome, Grumio. Like Grumio, son of Grumio. It is my gift to you. Keep without recompense, for gladly shall I remain aboard this wondrous ship to tinker and toy, hammer and hew. Jetpack! 
She is special, this vessel. Filled with wonders undiscovered. The wizard, he feels it too. The taste, the tingle of mystery. Oh, to unlock its secrets. <laughs> okay. So, how are you well, my lord, that? when your good father and Maxos first started to conquer the world with their fancy machines, we emps were mesmerized. None of us cared if we were being drafted into a strange warlord's empire, for if those were the weapons he wielded, we were all ready to welcome him with open arms. <laughs> By golly, were we ever. <laughs> okay, you guys are awesome. Steam driven giants on land, on sea, even in air. Oh, the ecstasy. Such wonders, such ingenuity, and Ooh. jeepers, what cannons. <laughs> Ever since then, <laughs> some 30 years hence, us imps have dedicated our existence to the advancement of these delightful machines. Oh great, so you are the steam tank builders. You're, and you're awesome guys. Those blessed days arrive, people regarded us as eccentric gnomes taken to experimenting with flame, gas and liquid like so many charlatan alchemists. But <laughs> those days are over. We are scientists now, famed and fortuitous. Well, I'm happy for you. The truth be told, though, we, we've never quite given up our love for all things combustible. <laughs> Rather on the contrary. Not that you mind, do you, my lord? I'm not telling him that we will destroy all that stuff. So let's have a look my at your turn, research. My lord. Upgrade. Points, so we can research stuff, okay. So we have like 20 research points, this is it correctly, and we can research upgrades for troops. And we have grenadiers, air units, troopers, hunters, heavy units. Okay, and we have troopers with shamans. Healing and repairing friendly units. Huh? Anti-air turret. Nah. I wouldn't tell this is cost like 20, but we, it's grayed out. We need to progress further in the story, okay? So we can only research the first two levels. Hmm. It's weak against troopers. I have the feeling since we have troopers, everyone is troopers. We need something strong against troopers. What are troopers weak against? Hunters. Welcome to the team, Hunter. Grenadier. Impionuclos. Giving him 25% range. Uh, iron masks, we don't have so. Faster moving troopers. Allows our troopers to capture enemy buildings. Okay, so we make them walk faster and capture enemy buildings and then we store five research points because it seems we only get one per turn. So maybe I want something for ten later. So talk to everyone here, I guess. So let's get to our base of operation. Okay, so this is the current situation in this area of the world. Set on neutral provinces, some with some buildings going on, or factories. This seems to be an enemy faction. Coultery Church. It's ruled by Carson, I guess.
He also rules that two islands here. One has a war factory. And as you can see in the countries, you see his head here is a, is a faction living there, so in this case it's elves. And this is how much gold it produces and how much research. And here is our capital. And here are some troops. Upgraded troopers with two experience, whatever that means. So let's actually build some stuff. My units play a card. What card do we have? Blood Leech. Or of Annihilation, whatever that does. Or of Restoration. Call of Valor. More income. Genos. Okay. Kill 50% of population of some province. Okay, nice. Trooper mercenaries and transport mercenaries. Okay. So this is his capital. It says 5,500 population. Huh? We actually. Oh, we can Genos. Genos. Okay, let's. Let's kill the population of his capital. Yeah, we are radical like that. And increase the. Uh, Production of our capital, and then buy some units. Huh? So about one of these healer guys, and one of these hunter guys. And we have thirteen. Okay, so another hunter and another of you guys. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, they're so they're being constructed here. So we can basically move on. What's that here? Hunters and transports. Or do I want to march towards him directly? I'm not sure. I think I want to march towards my enemy directly. We have this upgraded troopers. And he has just two troopers here. We cannot go over the CR. No. So let's get into his face. Okay, nuts. But then the turn. So they get killed. We get gold. Now it's his turn. He built some six here, a tavern. He increases his revenue and kills our capital. So he basically does the same we did. So I guess it's not too bad. He moves some troops around. He has a lot of troops. And he has the transport and now is capturing this territory. Okay, so that sucks. Let's go to this battle and kill his... Oh, now he has three units here. So we can select Henry to battle for us. Or Admiral. Let's say I want to be paid. Imperial army. We just do that shit ourselves. Come on. Well, we have our three skills, I guess. Two Q issue tag. Okay. I get it. Uh, I think I get it. Let me use my dragon jetpack. Dragon jetpack. Come on. God damn it. <sighs> mm, there's a skill that paralyzes units. I would like to have that. I just have crappy healing skills. Okay, so here we are. These are our starting troops, I guess. Let's move them up. Is that a tree? Well, not anymore. Construction underway, come Let's get some construction done. Battle for it. What? 
We're out of recruits, Commander. Construction in progress. Okay. This is our steam-driven giant monster war machine. So, okay, get it. B, huh? So we conquered this stuff. There is no reason to doubt your insight, sir. Oh, there are enemies coming. Battle Forge completed. Your unit will we need troopers. Commander. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. We're out of recruits, Commander. The Emperor's enemy is I mine. guess we need backup. We'll crush them one leg at a time. Ready to follow you. Even into death. Even into death, that sounds good. Constructed to fight. Let's fight this guys. So here are shipyards, but what does it bring? Oh god, I zoomed out too far. Trooper awaiting your instructions, Commander. Let's not get this overcomplicated. Let's build another tower here. Some of these healers. More recruits, Commander. Should we build more factories here? I'm not sure. I don't have enough to, to build factories. So, uh, it's moving around there. Anti-ground turret completed. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. We need more recruits, Commander. So it takes 20 recruits. Huh? Now they come like from both sides. Is that a tree? Well, not anymore. I guess our turret can handle this shit. Well, it is damaged, but it's healing. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Yeah, we totally got that. Look at this. It's oh, our shamans are healing up. Nice. Look at that. So let's wait here. Yeah, that guy is totally coming our way, and Taurus did it. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Okay, let's trash them. Yeah, we have healers, you noobs. Okay, so they can hide in the forest. I think. Don't see them then. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Your unit will soon be ready. I should maybe stop here. Clearly outnumbers them, so your unit will soon be ready. Let's just Super crush that guy. So eleven more seconds and we can deploy our dragon. Constructed to fight! Oh, there is someone back here. Oh, and they are producing this hunter, guys. Oh, I don't like that. So, dragon ready, press R to deploy. R. I need 20 recruits. I have 20 recruits. That's impossible, Commander. That's impossible, Commander. Why is it impossible? That's impossible, Commander. That's impossible, Commander. Ah, there we go. Is that a tree? Well, not anymore. Oh, jetpack! Dragons with jetpacks. Bam! Yeah. Okay, so now I'm activating my healing. Enemy hunters, oh there you are. Oh they are strong. Ah, okay, we took them out. Be on the for enemy 
emigrant years, huh? Oh, I can heal them up, nice. Something is shooting at me. Yes, it's uh, thingies. Oh no, I can shield them. Okay, solid. Roises. Whoa, whoa. Let's do some damage here. They cannot hurt me. It seems the hunters. But they can clearly hurt our other units, so let's heal them up. It's my healing brass. God damn it! Don't worry guys, I'm here. You cannot harm your dragon commander. Did that guys clear out all of our units? Seems so, right? Really. Oh my god, that hunter guys really did clear out all our units and it takes forever to destroy them. I'm a freaking drag. No. Okay, I think I need to build you. But I can. Maybe let's go back to my base. Oh yeah, okay. Got it. Construction underway, Commander. The singies are coming in my direction. Your unit will soon be ready. Your unit will roll out momentarily. So you're maybe good against Your hunters, huh? Oh shit. I think I need to get this done myself again. Piss off. Not gonna take my base. You move forward off for sure. Take that little guys. Oh, they built some anti-air tower. Something hit me. Okay. So this is producing guys. And this is giving him more ability to recue, so I will try to... Oh god. Something is shooting me, this guy, so... Huh? Let's get over here. Because you guys can do a shit. Where is it, guys? Go. Okay, you guys. March over here and capture that. Okay, I'm not really getting forward here. I need some kind of 
all around the tech and now they're building a lot of anti-air towers. I think I need a second factory actually. Building more troops. Anti-ground target. Well said. Hunters are clearly ground target. Ah, he's building up more of them. Now he's building anti-air units. Four are hiding in the forest. Can I put that shit on repeat? I think I can. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Let's get started, Commander. No, don't talk to me like this. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Chief troopers. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Your unit will soon be ready. Trooper awaiting your instructions, Commander. We're out of recruits, Commander. Okay, out of recruits. Let's wait attack. a few more. Okay, they are coming. That's good. Oh no, they are not. That's well, let, let's weaken them and hope they attack. Ah, no, sounds like it's shooting me. Shit, I got killed. Oh my god. Trooper ready to march. Ready to follow you. Even into death. Let's say retreat, so they seem to be afraid here. Or maybe not. To fight. So these guys are shooting me, huh? Not anymore guys. There are too many of them. Now they are engaging our base. Well, our new, new Grenadiers seem to rock against these guys. Okay, this gets, this gets intense. I need heal. Heal, heal! Heal! Ah, oh, goddammit. Shield! Oh, fuck! Okay, we need more guys. Okay. Let's get that shit going. We have to take out that base which produces all those guys. I'm taking out these guys. Is they take me again? Okay, I took out. Nah, there's still some more on here. Heal, heal! Oh no, they kill my healers. God damn it, they annihilated all my troops again. No, you can't do shit because I'm killing you before you arrive. Okay, I need some tactical upgrades here. We need more of this healer guys to heal each other. Okay, good. So why does my battle forge not produce his hunters? What is he doing different? 
Here's a war factory. I have a battle forge. So I need a different building. I can't build it here for some reason. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. We're out of recruits, Commander. We're out of recruits, Commander. That's impossible. Commander. Let's keep their number stone. More of the anti air guys come. Shit. We have some crazy stuff set. Kill the anti air guys first. There are so many anti air guys coming. Population depleted. Okay. Whatever that means, guys. I don't like the sound of it. Up. They don't seem to have a depleting population problem. So there are mo more of them coming all the way. Trying to heal you guys up, but oh my god, this can't be true, man. This is ridiculous. How is my population depleted and Sarah's is not? Crush all these guys. Okay, this low number of enemies our healers seem to have under control. But he seems to run out of population too. Let's buff them up. Fire again. Yeah, his numbers clearly got lower. Okay. Let's continue this by attacking these guys, come on. No, not healing. God damn it. Stop healing. I don't want to heal. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh my god, there's someone. Someone over there killing our stuff, but not for long. Out of my way, motherfuckers. Okay, good. Oh, well, the victory is mine. For whatever ungodly reason, we won by having the last unit standing, I guess. I'm sure there's an easier win to way to win a scenario, but. Well, we didn't find it in this first episode <laughs> of uh, action-packed talking to um, getting insulted episode of 
Well, we lost three troopers. Really? So I lost three too. So that was pretty bad, so I get it. So the newspaper said, Dead Emperor's Bastard Son gets wizard backing. More haste, less speed, enemy invention, propels troopers forward. Okay. Surrender while you can, Commander. Enemy now transport troops overseas. Oh, that sounds bad. Emperor's flurry of victories, fact or fiction. Dragon seen attacking own troops. Emperor claims cis fire heals. <laughs> okay. Great dragon, glorious warlord. Once more you return from the battlefield red with the blood of slain adversaries. Okay. And let me tell you, these victories of yours have not gone by unnoticed. In fact, to my great satisfaction, another pair of dauntless generals has joined our company. Very good. Four military masterminds are now on board. More than enough to start a campaign of conquest on a truly grand scale. Well... No doubt you're as anxious to meet them as they are to meet you. So why don't you go to the throne room, where I've instructed them to await your arrival. We have a throne room? Okay. My cabinet Heavens complete. No. You have the military firmly on your side. But civil emissaries too are bound to join our cause in due time. Indeed, I expect you will be declared Emperor before long. Oh, very good. I like yes, that. Yes, you heard me correctly. Emperor. It is inevitable. People have heard of you. The dragon. Their one hope of deliverance from war, oppression and death. Okay. Soon hope will turn into confidence. And when ambassadors of the civilized races flock to the Raven, your political career will commence. You yourself okay. will of course represent all humans. Of course. The dwarf, because I'm a dragon, I represent humans. And undead will want their say as well. So it doesn't sound racial at all. Still, let us worry about politics later. Today, it is your generals that count. Okay, I will talk to Sam in the very next episode.